Euclid, often referred to as the father of geometry, lived in Greece around 300 BC and is considered one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. He was active in Alexandria, Egypt, where he taught mathematics and wrote his most famous work, Elements. Elements is a comprehensive textbook on mathematics that covers a wide range of mathematical concepts and topics, including number theory, geometry, and mathematical rigor. The book consists of 13 books and is organized into definitions, postulates, common notions, and theorems, with each section building upon the previous one. One of Euclid's main contributions to mathematics was his emphasis on rigor and logical proof. He believed that mathematics was not just a collection of rules and formulas, but a systematic study of relationships and patterns that could be proven rigorously. This approach, known as axiomatic geometry, became the standard for mathematical proof and remains so to this day. Euclid's Elements was used as a textbook for over 2,000 years and had a profound influence on the development of mathematics and science. The book was translated into Latin and was widely read in the Western world, where it was used to teach mathematics in universities and schools. Its lasting impact can be seen in the fact that many of the concepts and results presented in elements are still studied and used today. Euclid's legacy extends beyond just his contributions to mathematics. His method of axiomatic geometry and emphasis on proof had a far-reaching impact on the development of science and philosophy. In particular, Euclid's work paved the way for the development of rigorous and systematic thinking in other fields, such as physics and philosophy. In physics, Euclid's axiomatic approach provided a model for the development of scientific theories that could be tested and proven through experimentation. This idea was later developed by the likes of Galileo Galilei and Isaac Newton, who used mathematical methods to describe and understand the physical world. In philosophy, Euclid's emphasis on proof and logical reasoning influenced the development of logical positivism and empiricism, two philosophical movements that stressed the importance of empirical evidence and logical argument in understanding the world. In addition to his impact on mathematics and science, Euclid also had a lasting impact on education. For centuries, Elements was used as a textbook to teach mathematics, and Euclid's method of teaching through definitions, postulates, common notions, and theorems continues to be used in mathematics education today. Euclid's impact extends even further. His ideas have also influenced the development of computer science, and the field of algorithms. Euclid's algorithm, a method for finding the greatest common divisor of two numbers, is an early example of an algorithm and has been widely studied and used in computer science. The concept of algorithms in computational processes can be traced back to Euclid's systematic approach to solving mathematical problems. Euclid's ideas have also been influential in the field of cryptography. In modern cryptography, Euclid's algorithm is used for key exchange and encryption in public key cryptography systems such as the RSA algorithm. Furthermore, Euclid's contributions to geometry have inspired many artists and architects throughout history. For example, the principles of Euclidean geometry can be seen in the design of classical buildings and in the works of artists such as Leonardo da Vinci, who used mathematical principles in his drawings and paintings. Euclid's life and works have also had a lasting impact on popular culture. He has been the subject of numerous books, articles, and films, and his ideas have been referenced in a wide range of works, including literature, music, and art. For example, in the world of literature, Euclid's ideas have inspired many writers and poets who have used mathematical concepts and principles in their works. The French writer Blaise Pascal, for example, wrote a famous essay on the theory of probability that was heavily influenced by Euclid's ideas. In the world of music, many composers have been inspired by Euclid's ideas, and mathematical concepts have been used as the basis for musical compositions and performances. For example, the composer Philip Glass has used mathematical patterns and ratios in his works, and the German composer Johann Sebastian Bach used mathematical principles in his compositions, such as the Goldberg Variations. In the world of art, Euclid's ideas have also been influential. For example, the Dutch artist M.C. Escher was known for his mathematically inspired drawings and prints, and the French artist Henry Poincaré used mathematical concepts in his works. Euclid's impact can also be seen in the development of various branches of mathematics. For example, his contributions to geometry laid the foundations for the development of differential geometry, which is the study of geometry on smooth curves and surfaces. This field has important applications in physics and engineering, 
and is used to study the geometry of objects in motion, such as the motion of planets and the shapes of waves. Euclid's work also influenced the development of number theory, which is the study of the property and relationships of numbers. Number theory has important applications in cryptography and coding theory and has been used to solve some of the most famous problems in mathematics, such as Fermat's last theorem. Euclid's axiomatic approach to mathematics has also been influential in the development of abstract algebra, which is the study of algebraic structures, such as groups, rings, and fields. Abstract algebra has important applications in computer science, physics, and engineering, and is used to study the properties of algorithms and encryption systems. Euclid's impact extends far beyond just his contributions to geometry. His axiomatic approach and emphasis on proof and logical reasoning have influenced the development of many branches of mathematics and have had important applications in fields such as physics, engineering, cryptography, and computer science. His legacy continues to shape the way we think about mathematics and its role in understanding the world. The laws of nature are but the mathematical thoughts of God. The point is that the whole system of mathematics follows from the simplest axioms. There is no royal road to geometry. The beauty of mathematics is not in the results, but in the methods and principles. The mathematicians may flatter themselves that they possess new ideas which mere human intelligence could never have produced. There is no known general method for finding the prime factors of a general integer. The whole business of mathematics is the study of structure. The elements of geometry are not invented but discovered. Geometry is the foundation of all painting. The theorems of mathematics are not true, they merely signify.